Introduction to AR60 series of grease pump. One, concept and applications of centralized lubrication. A centralized lubrication system is a set of closed hydraulic system consisting of a grease pump, distributor, monitor, and a pipe accessories. It is designed to automatically deliver fixed amount of grease to dozens of lube points at fixed time. One. Applications of centralized lubrication. The centralized lubrication refers to supplying grease to all the necessary lube points of the equipment, as needed by means of complete set of grease supply system for the purposes of reduction in friction resistance and surface friction, and lower temperature of friction surface. At present, it is now widely applied for such industries as metallurgy, mining, electric power, machine tools, textile, food. Port, commercial vehicles, construction machinery, and heavy-duty equipment, etc. Two, the centralized lubrication system of the Auto AR60 series of vehicle chassis consists of greasing grease pump, monitor, distributor, grease pressure sensor, and pipe accessories. Three. As an operating core of the system, the grease pump delivers the grease inside the grease tank to every distributor under a high pressure. The major components of the pumping station include DC motor, gear pump, safety valve, unloading valve, cylinder and dialing unit, and a grease filling unit. The low power DC motor operates at a low speed. The external gear pump so that the grease is pumped through gear meshing and separating. The grease filling unit is rotatable for greasing during operation. The safety valve is constructed with a sliding valve structure consisting of valve core and spring inside, and a featuring simple structure in a stable performance. The capacity of the distributor is constant for the demands of grease vary with different greasing parts. The distributor delivers grease to loop points by 0.1, 0.13, and 0.2 and 0.4 milliliters per operation. Operating principle of the distributor: one, the umbrella valve inside the distributor moves upward under the pushing force of the pressure grease in the supply line. Two. The umbrella valve seals up the center hole in core rod, and the high-pressure grease in the supply line pushes the piston to move upward against the spring resistance to discharge the grease remained in the upper chamber of the previous cycle. Three, the grease discharge is finished when the piston moves to the top of the upper chamber. Four, the unloading valve opens automatically when the grease pump is stopped. Now, the high-pressure grease inside the supply line flows back via the unloading valve, allowing that the system pressure drops rapidly. Then the piston of distributor returns under the action of the spring, and the umbrella valve is reset to seal up the grease inlet. Next, the piston delivers grease from the lower chamber to the upper chamber through the center hole in core rod. Thus, the grease supply is also ready for the next cycle. As the control center of the operating system, the monitor is designed to control, monitor, and display the real-time signals of the running vehicle and information of operating conditions of the system. The AK04 monitor can display the lubrication times, lubrication interval, pressure on time, and fault code. The grease pressure sensor detects the grease pressure inside the filling line of the system and transmits the data to the monitor. The grease pressure sensor is a SPST no diaphragm type sensor with a closing pressure of 2.6 megapesca and an opening pressure of 2.0 megapesca. The temperature sensor monitors the real time ambient temperature and transmits the data to the monitor. As a result. The pumping station is standby at low temperature. If the ambient temperature is lower than the preset temperature, operating principle of AR60 centralized lubrication system. Take AR60H for example. The gear pump begins working when the pump receives the signal from the monitor. 
the grease is sucked by a gear pump and pressurized into the exit, and the pressure unloading valve is opened, and the pump module pressurizes the main line. Then the grease cylinder connected to the main line begins to work, so as to ensure the supply of grease through a conveying device that conveys the grease from the bottom of the reservoir. Grease pressurizes main lines and causes distributors to dispense preset volumes of grease to open the overflow valve, and redundant grease reflows to the reservoir through the orifice in the overflow valve. The pump module receives the signal from the monitor, and the gear pump stops. Finally, the pressure unloading valve opens. Grease in main lines reflows to the reservoir. Then the pressure in main lines is about 0.05 to 0.1 megapascal. The AR60 series centralized lubrication system features five major advantages. One, with initiative gear pump grease tank daily plate, it can pump MLG I0 grease all year. Two, it is fitted with new single row and single line distributor for high grease drainage pressure and well. Three. The patented technology of water in grass protection ensures that the equipment can work normally. Four, it is designed with initiative intelligent temperature control technology to challenge the high altitude and extrude. The operating parameters may be dynamically displayed by an automatic ECU LCD system and a microcomputer-based automatic control. Advantages of centralized lubrication vs manual lubrication. One. With a mechanical automation, the equipment may be automatically greased with fixed amounts at a fixed time during operation, causing manpower saving of 95 percent. Two, the grease line of the centralized lubrication system is totally closed, ensuring clean lubrication, and the service life of the lubricated parts is prolonged by over 60 percent due to lubrication with fixed amount at a fixed time during operation. Three. The centralized lubrication system can supply clean pressure grease to the designated lube points with fixed amount and fixed time during operation for optimal lubrication, causing reduction in grease consumption up to 70 percent. Four, it features long time interval of maintenance and repair, low failure rate, reduced costs of spare parts, increased operating hours, and high operating efficiency.